Just in time for game time, we are going to learn how to make pom-pom hair ties. I am making mine SU themed since I'm not in school anymore, so we'll get started. First, we're going to need a pair of scissors, material, the color of your team. In my case, I'm using orange, white, and blue for SU. This is a onesie that was actually left in a bleach bucket too long, so it got shredded up. And I actually got this orange onesie from the Westfield Thrifty Shop. And this is a pair of leggings that got ruined by scooching along a stone floor. <laughs> and you will need tear ties. The thicker ones usually work better. So you're going to cut out strips in your material. I decided to make mine really rugged looking, um, really rough, so I didn't really measure anything. Um, but if you are making this for your team, you may want to actually measure out your strips and sew them so that they look nice and neat. So for this one I'm just cutting strips making them relatively the same length. It may be necessary to cut any arms if you're using an old shirt. Next, you're going to take one of your hair ties and you'll take a strip and loop it right over your hair tie. So you can do one of those loops or you can actually just tie the strip in a knot on your hair tie. The shorter ones usually require them to be knotted this way. And you're just going to keep on adding strips to your hair tie. You can either make it so that there's strips going all around the hair tie. It will make it a little looser though. Um, so you may want to think about that when thinking about how you're going to wear it in your hair. I find that it helps to keep a little bit of the hair tie exposed. This makes it a little easier to put your hair, put it in your hair in a ponytail or however you decide to do it. It also kind of bunches the strips together so it looks more like a pom-pom. And there you have it. If you have any questions on this project, feel free to leave a comment and support your local thrifty shopper.